Vapor Honing Technologies? What is it? Where did it come from? Who started it? And why was it started? Let's find out. The year is 2011. A young man is sandblasting dirty motorcycle parts in his garage, annoyed with the process he has no choice but to use. He spent hours researching an alternative to this dusty and wasteful process, until one day, he stumbled upon wet blasting. There was one problem with this new, safer, cleaner, and better technology he had found, and that was the price tag. A ridiculous price tag, might I add. But that young man, he was not a quitter, and he was determined to rid his motorcycle restoration shop of all his sandblasting equipment. So he did something radical and built his own machine. The first machine was constructed out of plywood and was as horrible as it sounds. It leaked everywhere, and in the 18 to 20 degree weather it was being used in, it was far from desirable. What was desirable, though, was the beautiful finishes this machine was creating. The constant long nights this young man had spent working on this machine were paying off as he was covering most of the service work for the eastern United States with it. That's like, it's like a lot of people. Now, with the huge success of the service, he was posed with the question, can you build me a machine? One too many times and decided to bite. This is what started the vapor honing technologies that is known today. And at its helm was its original customer and creator, Jonathan Wise. VHT started operating out of a small portion of an old mill in Conley Springs, North Carolina. At this time, the services side of the company was still booming and machine production was climbing strongly. Wearing around 20 hats at this point, John remembers this time period as one of growth. The company had three to four employees and was fulfilling machine orders daily. At the rate VHT was selling the service and machines, the small building could no longer suffice. The business soon transferred to our current location in 2017, which has required heavy repair as the company has expanded. It is at this location where the company has seen its greatest growth, but also where it has been met with its hardest struggles. John recalls regularly having to work 24-hour days during this time as the company and the building constantly required it. It is this work ethic that John has displayed from the beginning that has gotten vapor honing technologies to where it is today. At this point, the company was growing to a stable size and John was able to implement a few programs he had always wanted to. The first was our lifetime warranty, which with John himself being reliant upon these machines, he understood how important it is to have them up and running. The second is our trade up program, which gives you the option to easily upgrade your machine. When buying a new machine, if you choose to send your old one back, the price that you paid for it can be deducted off the price of the machine you are upgrading to. Now, with 35 employees, we at Vapor Honing Technologies are still the same company producing the same affordable wet blasting equipment with the same lifetime warranty, but at even lower costs. John is still at the helm and he makes certain that the customer is the basis of our decisions as he was our first. We strive to create the best products possible every day and want to thank you for your continued support. Actually, real, real quick before you go, John's been a little bit hard to track down recently, so I decided to call on one of my friends and go on a little bit of a manhunt. Hey man, I need a favor. Can you meet me here at the, uh, the picnic table at Vapor Honey? I'm already here, mate. So what's the bloke's name? John. Do you need to like see a picture of him or anything? No, no, mate. Just need to know his blood type. Ah. So what kind of habits does this man have? I mean, he drinks a lot of energy drinks. That's a good start. Aha! Uh -huh. Now tell me something. What would the bloke be doing in here? He was filming a video. Well, let's think where he could be now. I have an idea. Well, I guess he's not in shipping. So where to next?
Well, I guess he's not in sales. Well, I guess he's not in the showroom. I'm getting a saint. <laughs> guess he's not in production either. Man, I thought I was really onto something. This is literally the last place I know to look. Yeah, this bloke's gotta be around here somewhere. Hey, what the heck are you guys doing here? <laughs> I no, 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 no. That's John, that's the one we're looking for. We're looking for you for a video. We're doing a video about the history of VHC. Wondered if you had any thoughts to add to it. No, just uh, doing some prototyping, working on some new products. It's what I normally try to help out with. It helps grow the business and grow the company. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for what you guys do. And thank you guys as customers for what you do and the support that you guys have. And uh, <laughs> stay on the lookout for some cool new products that we have coming out. Uh, some awesome things that we're working on here in the fab shop. We have some really exciting stuff, some really high-end automated equipment coming, and it'll help a lot of companies like yourself possibly uh, to increase the output, increase the efficiency, of course, the, the quality of work um, that you guys are looking for with automation. And of course, we keep building those fantastic manual cabinets that everybody's loved since 2012. So thanks for all you do. As always, thanks for watching.